Hey folks, Aaron with Bush Hogging Services here at Ocala Tractor today. I am picking up a new implement, which I anticipate is going to open up some business opportunities for me. Um, the unit is unique. Uh, they really seem to be coming into their own at this time in the industry. And uh, as far as I know, I'm gonna be the only one in this area that actually has one. So uh, let me flip you around, I'll let you see what I'm talking about. So what we have here is the Titan TB Max 2. And I just got lucky, uh, Ocala Tractor had three of these coming in and I bought one of them. So I was able to get it basically the next day. And uh, on this model, you'll notice that the hydraulics are hooked to my third function on the front. There's no reservoir on the back. Uh, this is a uh, Massey Ferguson 4707. Runs about a five gallon uh, hydraulic reservoir. So. I'm going to try it on this first since this won't be my primary cutter. Uh, I have a Bama light which I run off the back for the heaviest of things. This will be used for trimming trees uh, along roads and trails. You can offset it and uh, uh, trim out to the side of roads and around ponds, things like that. So uh, it gives you that additional capability that most others aren't going to have. So today we're going to be taking it out and testing it and seeing how it works. We've got some work to do on uh, my property and then I've got a couple jobs coming up where I'll be able to put it to use and earn some additional income by using it. But uh, I will definitely do a follow on review and add some footage of this in use and first impressions. So uh, stay tuned. So, okay, so with that out, this bad boy should turn like this. Nope, yeah. Right. Okay, so now that's not right. Your hoses are. Yep. Okay, hoses have to be in the front. Okay, that's better. So let's say that I want to use it right here. I now need to take you this. Can't, you can't use it like, I guess you'd be cutting on the left side. Yeah, if you spun that up, if you lifted the bucket like the front this way, actually that would turn that and put that bar in the right position. So that would work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're just cutting on that side versus the other side. Mosquitoes found us. Okay, so what does. Oh shit, you already bent this. Need a pair of pliers, you need In the box. <laughs> First time you didn't break something before me. I know, huh? Life is looking up. Because this pin needs to go down into that hole. This, that'll let this whole thing swing out more. Right, so we need to be using a different. No way oh no, this isn't a slot, that's why. It's in huh? a slot, that's. that's... Oh, that's, a, oh shit, okay. Well, then let's pull it out. Here, pull it out while I move it.
All right, so what we figured out is you want it on the right side for the cutting. It extends past the tractor further on the right side, which keeps the vegetation from beating up your tractor so much, which is why other people that have demo videos online uh, show it on the right side of the tractor. So they've already figured that part out. Um, it can be done on the left. You just don't want to uh, unless you're not afraid of, you know, hitting your tractor on things. So uh, the other thing is interesting is with the uh, hydraulic actuator on the um, joystick controller, which would normally be used to open and close the grapple and anything on the on the third function on the front, you have to hold that down. And when you let off of it, it uh, comes to a quick halt. Now, uh, I was told that this unit does not require the sump in the back, uh, and maybe because it's some kind of new design on this one. Uh, but I also found out this is actually just a uh, this, the wrong size motor. This has a 17 gallon per minute. So here we have it set on the, the most extreme angle. Which is too, it's too steep for this. So we should change the setting on it. We'll do that and uh, cut it some more. This time we, uh, we did stop the tractor and change the angle. It was just way too steep for the, the slope of the bank. Obviously you're trying to match the slope of the bank, which is uh, ideal. The arm has a groove in it, which it looks like if you had um, you know, a nut and bolt, you could probably set it at almost any angle that you wanted. You just have to lock it in place and you know, hope that it didn't slide on you. Nice and slow when you're working around water. Those ruts and things like that you can't see in there will kill you quick if this thing rolls into the water. Hit a soft spot, your front end dips, and then you roll into the water. Not good. So, there you go, just stop it.